Hey, so hey investors, so welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going through four of my favorite penny stocks in the market right now. So yeah, in this video, I'm not going to go into too much details um, regarding this stock. So I'm just going to highlight the key um, key points and the catalyst. And also, is the stock still a buy at this price? But yeah, guys, as always, please smash that like button and please subscribe down below and follow the million mile journey. So in this channel, we talk about investments, long-term investing, short-term investing, and um, penny stocks and growth stocks so yeah join the million mile journey and we'll all make money in 2021 and also thank you guys for anyone who subscribed or liked the video over the past week and the growth have been insane so i've gained more than 500 subs which is not a lot but for me it's a lot and i appreciate it a lot so yeah thank you guys for supporting the channel and watching this video but don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe down below so yeah so the first company we're going to talk about which i've made videos on about like two three videos it's called so medica so to get some is z o m so this stock today or well, yesterday it was down 24 percent and today it's kind of back up i feel like five percent um so it's back at one dollars again so over one dollars but yeah i'm just going to go through the company quick and um, so just talk about and um, what the company do and um, the major cat this upcoming and where i see this um stock going so this company's um so they've got a new product coming out which is called a three form of point of care um, dig and diagnostic platform so what this is is a technology that detects adrenal and thyroid diseases in cats and dog and this technology is for a market that's worth or is expected to grow to 2.8 billion by 2024 so the commercial launch for this product is March the 31st which is going to be a very huge catalyst for this stock so in yesterday's video I did tell you that short term and um, I see the stock taking a dip which can present a very good buying opportunity and I also gave a price target of two dollars then after two dollars it's going to three dollars but this is why I see the stock going I think like we're gonna get a dip short term then as we lead up to March this stock is going to go up so the product comes out on the 31st of March so as we lead up to that date the stock price is going to go up and then when we get to that when we get to that date very close the 30th or even on the day there's going to be a huge sell-off a lot of people are going to take um take profit and take money at the stock and um, same trend that happens with all these SPAC stock so when this first announced it goes up huge then goes down then as we get close to closer to the merger it goes up again then merger date or the day before we get a huge sell-off but the difference with the, between this company is that this is a very good company with a very good product that's very high in demand and also right now the pet market is booming whereby a lot of people need companionships and the adoption of pets is absolutely through the roof and this year alone americans spent 99 billion on pets in just um not this year but 2020 alone which is a whole new record so yeah the pet market is booming i thought this product will do very well and the product doing well um, reflects on the company doing very well which will reflect on the stock price so there's a huge demand the market is booming so this product is going to do very well and that's why i feel like we're going to get a dips it's going to go up we're going to get another dip but it will recover so after this product comes out the stock price will recover and i can see the stock going to two dollars and it will go to three dollars it might even reach up to five dollars this is a great company with great management team and um, great team behind it and also a very good product that's going to do very well but yeah guys um yeah so that's zone medica so ticket symbol z o m then the next stock we're talking about and um, this is one of my favorite stocks that i've been invested in and um, for the past four weeks so when it was back at four dollars i was making videos went to five dollars i was still making videos recommending this stock went to six dollars i was still making videos recommending this stock now it's at seven dollars i'm still talking about this stock that's because i see the stock going to next it's gonna go to eight dollars then it's going to go to twelve dollars fifteen dollars then long term this stock we're sitting at 20 to 30 dollars so this is a penny stock that is soon gonna leave that penny stock status but yeah the stock the stock we're talking about is called sg block so the ticket symbol is sgbx so currently the stock price is at seven dollars and twenty cents so what this company do is convert shipping containers into shopping and working environments such as department stores and restaurants so this um, shipping containers has many um, advantages over normal construction so it's 40 percent faster to construct and it's also 10 to 20 percent cheaper and uh, right now this company has and um, partnerships with starbucks taco bell puma lacoste the u.s army 
Army and the US Marine Force and the plan to expand this partnership in 2021. And also this company built um, COVID-19 test centers using their containers and are also a main distributor of the COVID-19 test. And also this company has a production agreement with Blink Charging to create EV charging stations using their container. So you know the EV market is only going to get bigger for years to come and this company is going to use their containers to create EV charging station which as we know by 2025, 2030 and also 2030 there will be in huge demand and this company is in now in 2020. So imagine in 2030 the amount of charging stations they'll be creating with their containers so that is huge and also this is a penny stock that has a great financial so 30 million dollars in cash and zero dollar is in debt and this is considered in fact it's a penny stock and you know where a lot of these penny stocks the financial is not very great so there's a reason penny stocks are penny stocks but this company for me is a company that's about to leave that penny stock status so this company next is going to 12 dollars then 15 then i said the long term we're talking a year or two this company will be sitting at 20 to 30 dollars and when it does i'm gonna play this video back all the videos i talk about this company and i'll basically say i told you so <laughs> but yeah so that is sg blocks so the ticket symbol is sgbx then the next company we're talking about is called Oxygen. So ticket symbol is O C G N. So right now, whilst recording this video, the stock is sitting at two dollars and thirty three cent. So anyone who doesn't know what this company is, it's a biopharmaceutical company that develops and discovers treatments to treat blindness. But recently, they partnered with Bahala Biotech to create COVID nineteen vaccine, and this vaccine is called Covaxin. So in the last week. Uh, um, it was announced that the vaccine was approved for use in India and yesterday on Wednesday um, the the vaccines were shipped out to India so to seven cities in India so 20,000 doses was shipped out and the success of this vaccine in the Indian market can translate to it getting approved in the US market which is a large market and I also talked about in my last video and um, the concerned that I had about this um, company and also the vaccine, which is the fact that we've got no efficacy data for this vaccine. So right now we know that Pfizer's um, vaccine and Moderna has a 94% efficacy. But recently I did discover that this, um, their testing, so their stage phase three clinical trials on animal shows that the vaccine had 100% efficacy. But obviously this was the animal testing. So right now they are in the phase three for the human testing. So I feel like if they can get their vaccine above 95% efficacy, then this vaccine will potentially be approved in the US market. So it's shown promising results for the animal testing, 100% efficacy, and obviously animals and humans are different. So if they can get above 95%, so that's above Pfizer and above Moderna, then this vaccine could potentially get approved in the US. And this is gonna be a huge catalyst. So I thought the next upcoming catalyst would be if they announce the efficacy data, which is expected by March. So that's when the phase three clinical trial is expected to end and we should get results of the efficacy. Then that's the next catalyst. Then the catalyst after that is when they announce news of potentially being approved in the US. So in fact, this stock does have a lot of um, catalysts coming and also their vaccine, so Covaxin, does have another advantage over the current vaccines in the market. So unlike the other two vaccine, um, this vaccine doesn't need to be stored in a sub-zero temp, which means that it has a long longer half-life so you know the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna it needs to be stored in a very very cold condition but that's not the case for this vaccine so it does have a much longer half-life which is another advantage to the current vaccine in the market so yeah like I said the next big catalyst will be the efficacy data then um news about the vaccine being approved in the US and I can see this stock taking off so it's at two dollars now this stock will easily double it would leave it would leave that penny stock um, status if it was approved for use in the US so yeah this is a company that I'm very excited about and um, I did start a position so all these companies that I'm talking about I do have a position in so just to let you know so I will never tell you about stock that 
I'm not personally invested in. So this is my top four stock picks. So top four means stocks that I believe in. If I believe in it, I'm gonna invest in it. So if you lose money, I'm gonna lose money, but that is not the case. These are my best four stocks, but yeah, as you know, I'm a long-term investor, so a lot of these stocks I will be holding, so I don't do the whole day swing trading. But if you do, then obviously try buy the dips, don't buy when it's at all-time high, peak buy the dips, then take profit along the way um, whilst the stock is climbing up. But yes, yeah, always guys, please smash that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe down below to support the channel and help the channel grow. But yeah, so let's just get into the next um, stock. So the next stock we're talking about is called Thrive Shack. So tick symbol is D S. So this stock now, whilst we're calling this video, is sitting at two dollars and fifty eight cent. And what this company do is a basically com um, combine sports, which is golf, with entertainment. So they've got outdoor sporting, um, outdoor golfing, and indoor golfing. They've got bars, and they got they got restaurants. So this is entertainment for families, um, friends, um, date nights. So this company has been doing very well over the pandemic in terms of financially so four analysts actually gave this stock a buy rating and they gave it a mean mean price target of four dollars and fifty cents so that's nearly a hundred percent from where it's at now but i feel like this stock can easily surpass that price target and get to five dollars six dollars seven dollars and potentially triple your investment so i thought like the next catalyst for this stock is their next earning which is march the fifth so back in december a lot of their sites and um, did open back up so they've been doing well and taking in money which is going to help immensely with the revenue so as you know they've got the outdoor golfing so you can easily socially distance and also fit a lot more people in so this company fact, has been doing well over the pandemic and they've been doing well since december the sites opened back up so this next um this next earnings on 15th on the 5th of March could be a huge catalyst for this company in terms of the stock price going up. But yeah, guys, it's at $2.58. I was buying this stock when it's at $3. I've averaged down, so my average cost base is $2.85. I'm still buying it, building up my full, full position, because like I always recommend with these, because these for me are long-term stocks, and I treat it like any other long-term stocks. So buy 25% of your position, then when it goes down, when it dips, you want to be able to buy the dips and average down and that's what i've been doing so yeah guys that's my top four penny stock picks and um, stocks that i'm invested in that flag would do very well long term and give you a very good return but yeah if you enjoyed the video and you want to support the hustle then please smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe down below for updates and also the best stock picks but yeah guys i appreciate the growth of the past over the past week so yeah and um, keep liking keep subscribing and yeah we're gonna do very well in 2021 and make a lot of money together but yeah i'll catch you in the next video and yeah thanks for tuning into this video and also i'm not a financial advisor so please don't buy a stock because i just buy the stock always do your research and do your own due diligence before investing money into any stock in the stock market and also these penny stocks are very risky very volatile so only invest where you can afford to lose so don't invest your whole portfolio into these penny stocks and um, check out my other videos so i've got great um stock picks such as tattoo chef and we've got wall green boot great growth companies that's going to give you a very good return so check out those videos but yeah i'll catch you in the next video guys